Well, Wendy, I'm going to be late. <laughs> I'm off to film the three covered bridges uh, in St. John County, and I'm supposed to be meeting a friend of mine at a restaurant outside of St. John, a former work colleague, and I promised I'd be there around noon. Well, best laid plans of mice and men. The uh, car ferry schedule seems to have changed. I think they have canceled their first and last runs. They do that sometimes this time of year, but they didn't put up a sign warning anybody. So I was supposed to be able to uh, leave here at 9 a.m. and instead it's 10 a.m. So maybe with a bit of luck and right connections on the other end of Deer Island, I'll still be there in time. I made good connections getting off Deer Island, but I'm glad I said I would be at the restaurant where I'm meeting Wendy around noon, because I think I'm going to be a bit later than that. It's now 11.25. I suspect it'll take me the best part of an hour to get there. Well, I'm in St. John and just about to cross the Harbor Bridge, and it's 12.15, so I should be at the restaurant, I guess, by 12.30. Not too bad. Hope you'll be able to see there's a very large cruise ship in. I just caught a glimpse of it, so when I go across the bridge, I think you'll be able to see it off to the right. I can see it, but I don't think it's going to show up on the camera. This clip is a bit out of sequence. I took this on the way back home as I crossed the bridge again, uh, taking the camera and just holding it to the side window. And it's also, this is in slow motion, but it shows you that the uh, ship is just leaving the harbor. Unfortunately, all we get to see is the stern end of it, but it gives you an idea of the size, I guess. have arrived, and I think I see Wendy waiting for me, so she didn't give up and go home anyway. Well, this is Tynemouth Creek. We have arrived. It's in a nice location. Low tide, this is a, a tidal creek, I guess. It would be much more picturesque at high tide. Oh, if I can find the information on this thing here. It's 103 feet long, or 31 meters. It was built in 1927 take a walk through and see if I can get a look at it from the other side. Well, I didn't say anything anyway, I guess, as far as narration of going through this bridge, but there was a strange clicking noise from somewhere, so I removed the original soundtrack. All three of the bridges that we're visiting today are sort of lined right up, so just one right after the other, quite close together. Well, we have arrived in St. Martin's, and this is Irish River, or Vaughan Creek Number 1, uh, 78 feet or 24 meters long, built in 1935. It also gives you a good indication of the tides of Fundy. Those boats would have been floating at high tide. Vaughn 
Creek or Irish River number one. Well, that's the Irish River one that we just went across. And I drove several miles in the wrong direction and had turned around and back to find this one. This is Irish River number two or hard scrabble. 78 feet across, I think. Yes, yeah, 78 feet or 24 meters across, built in 1946. And it has one of those nice pedestrian walks on the side of it, so I think we'll walk across it. Well, let's take a walk through the tunnel. Take a drive through the Irish River number two or hard scrabble. Well, that was the three covered bridges of St. John County. There is a fourth bridge uh, somewhere in the area here, but it was built in 2006. It isn't anything that interests me. I'm more interested in seeing the historic ones. I'm not quite certain why that particular one was built. There are some golf courses and things that have them, but the information that I have doesn't tell you much about it. But anyway, I have dropped Wendy off at her car, and I'm on my way back to Campobello. Thank you very much for watching.